Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam. If you're new, happy Friday. I hope that you guys have a lovely weekend coming up. Um, today we're doing Legacy, of course. I thought we would start off the episode by having a look at Jamie and Stacy and uh, see what's going on with all those kids that they have. <laughs> I'm really interested. I know that you guys are really interested too. And also, I got so many comments of you guys being like, wish for love, just do it, just do it. And if we're not happy with it, then make them break up. And you know what? You're right, we should. So I'm super stoked to see the outcome of that. Like so freaking excited, you guys have no idea. Um, I don't think we've done it in Legacy Challenge before, have we? I don't think we have, so super excited for that. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. I love you so much. Let's just get into it, shall we? Okay, so I know that they live inside my shoe now. Um, where though? Ah, yes, here we go. Wow, I cannot believe it. They had quadruplets what are the chances of that seriously what are the freaking chances that is actually wild a random woohoo in a leaf pile resulted in four babies <laughs> oh man i doubt that's what jamie wanted but hey man you made your bed, now you gotta lay in it, my guy. Oh wow, that is actually crazy. So if Edison is on his last days of his life, then Evangeline should have like a couple extra, two or three, because she was pregnant. One of you guys, Egg, commented that we should take Stacy's life force and give it to Evangeline so that Evangeline will Day alive longer. I'm not really sure like how to do that. I've never done that before. I didn't even know you could do it. So I'm going to I'm going to look and I'm going to look and see cuz that would be kind of funny. I think it would be justified, definitely. Cuz we gave Stacy that freaking potion. Uh, so she should be an elder by now. She should probably be dead by now. But, but we <laughs> She didn't deserve that potion, guys. She really didn't. So I spent all of this morning cleaning out my mods, updating mods, just trying to figure out the source, trying to figure out the issue. Um, I had a lot of mod duplications that I took care of. So fingers crossed my game runs a little bit smoothly today, smoother today than last time. And yeah, I, I filmed the last episode not realizing that it was episode 100. I literally can't believe it. I can't believe it's been a hundred episodes of Legacy. I wanted to do something special, but I just couldn't land on anything. I wanted to do like this whole recap like of Legacy Challenge, like just this whole thing. But then I was like, well, I want to do that at the end. And we only have a couple more generations left. I was thinking of like just looking at every single heir in Cass up until now and like giving them like a little makeover of how I would like make them over now with my new CC. Um, I don't know, I kind of still want to do something special, but like not so extravagant, but yeah, I was thinking about it. A hundred hours, 100 hours of legacy. I am just like shook. Like I've been doing this challenge for years and it's crazy to like go back to the beginning and just see the changes, you know, in myself, in the game, in my build skills, in my like gameplay skill, like literally everything. It's honestly insane. It was like a docu, it's like a documentary. <laughs> oh man, but freaking huge shout out to all of you guys for still watching it and still being here with me. I think that's absolutely insane in the best way, but anyway, 100 freaking episodes, dude. Insane. All right, so we've got Edison here. He's really sad because Wilson passed away. Wilson was his best friend, even though they've been through a lot. They're, they're still best friends. He has, I think he has one day left now. Yes, one day left. Eloise, uh, she is clean. Oh, repairing the sink. Good for you, girl. She has one day left as well. Um, Sarah is also really sad from the death. And she's sad because of the strict family dynamic that she's got with Eros now. I don't honestly, I don't know if I agree with that dynamic, but we might be able to change it. Ren is fine. She's just really thirsty and she got stung by bees. Oh no. Do you not have any plasma packs? Like, why don't you ever take care of your thirst? Oh, you have 99 plus plasma packs. I don't understand why she doesn't take care of her thirst, like, autonomously. I always have to tell her to do it. 
Like, girl, you're a grown woman. All right, Eros is hungry. Okay, well, let's give him some, some food then. Oh, ask for food. No, 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 Sarah just needs to give you food. Give food. Um, let's give him a ham and cheese sandwich. And then let's have a, oh, he's stinky too. Oh no. Okay, so we've got air day tomorrow, rebate day the next day, Halloween, and then Eros's birthday couple days after that. Man, I would love to play until Eros's birthday. I really would. Every new, every new life stage is so exciting and the child one is important because we get to see his first real trait. So yeah, you guys were telling me about the infant milestones as well, about how many there are like hidden ones. I was just like, I was in shock, honestly. They made infants very detailed, which is pretty cool. And then you guys are cracking up because these backpacks apparently are BTS backpacks and I had no idea. <laughs> I guess Eros is a BTS fan. It is what it is, you know? Uh, Eloise is neat. Okay, yeah, I could see it. It doesn't really matter though, because she's gonna kick the bucket any day. Anywho, enjoy your sandwich, my boy. If you make a mess, we gonna discipline you, but he has a good appetite, so I don't think he, he will ever make a mess. Yeah, I don't really know how that works. Yeah, he's actually like very neat and he eats he, he eats it all. He's just a good boy. Him's a good boy. Okay, stop chatting with her. Give Eros a bath and go pee as well, please. Thank you. Oh, Ren's autonomously having a plasma pack. Good for you. And you, chatting, you're really starting to piss me off. I'm not gonna lie. You are the laziest elder I have ever witnessed. Sorry, I didn't mean to upset you, but it's <laughs> true. All right, give him a bath, please. Looks like Eloise made some meatballs. Okay, how about you drink more plasma packs so that your bar is full? Like, why don't you drink them until your bar is full? I'll never understand. So yeah, with Ren, you can, what, do you, what can you do? You can drain someone's life force and give it to someone else? Drain life spirit. Draining a sim's life spirit grants a lot of thirst, but will wipe the sim's memory. And can you give the life spirit to someone else? Or was it just like uh, an idea? You can't necessarily do it in the game, but it's like an idea. Okay, let's see. Gain the power to drain life spirit from other sims or restore life spirit from those who have been drained. Uh, unlocks true power over life itself. Drains life spirit from other sims, making them highly susceptible to adverse vampiric powers. Enables Ren to protect the ones she loves or simply refresh her prey using Restore Life Spirit. Hmm. That would be pretty crazy, but now, now I feel bad doing anything negative to Stacy. Like, even though she completely betrayed us, she has four kids now. She's got four kids now. And even though, you know, yeah, even though she betrayed us, she still needs she still needs to be around for them, and it would be a shame if she just forgot all of them because we drained her life spirit. You know, it would completely wipe her of her memories. So, gosh, I don't know. I don't know. What do we do? We do have two points though that we can use on something. I just realized we haven't completed Ren's vampire powers, and we totally should. Ooh, supernatural speed. I do want that. Mesmerize, put another sim into a trance. Vampiric charm, command, control the minds of other sims. I would love to have that. It costs three. I think I want to wait so that I can get that. The cheap ones, they don't really, I don't know, they don't really interest me. So I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm I'm hold off, but how do we get more vampire points? I know that we can, what are you doing with your lip? Dark meditation. What is happening with your lip, my girl? Paranoid, right. They always do that lip thing when they're paranoid. Mm, no, thank you. I'm good. What do you have to do? Chat? Edison, I'm gonna... I'm, okay, I'm not gonna delete your computer, but I am gonna put it on your pedestal. I have the legacy house locked, so he can't get to it, but it's still here. Um, ah, shoot. Do I really need to put it on the desk? Come on, that's so annoying. You know what I can do? I can probably like size down the desk. Yeah, and the computer will still be on. There. All right, Sarah, let's go ahead and put this. Yeah, put it right there. There you go. Here's your computer. 
Oh yeah, let's delete these two. Okay, well, we'll see what he does with his time now that he doesn't have his computer anymore. Sorry, I feel like you're a child and I'm taking away your video games because you can't, like, learn. Anywho, this, the Reaper Rewards thing is really starting to piss me off too. I wish I could just, like, exit it out. I, I don't want to do it. Like, why can't I just exit it out? You guys were saying that that's causing some glitches too. Yeah. Get those vampire points. Oh, where's Eros? Oh, he's in the bath. Why are you sad? You seem fine. So I think after we give Eros his bath, I'm gonna get her to... You know what? You need to put... You need like a moodlet solver. Happy... What does this do? Boost your skill gain. And I want to push into plentiful needs. You have hella aspiration points that I don't know what to do with, so uh, yeah. I don't know if the Potion of Plentiful Needs m fixes the moods too, but I know that Moodlet Solver does. Oh god. Are you glitched giving him a bath? Okay, just stop it. Stop it. Take him out. Thank you. All right, you, my sir, you are playful. So you get a boost in your imagination, I believe. So why don't you come play, play this? Okay, it is the moment. It's the moment of truth. Let us wish for love. Evangeline, I mean, Sarah. Sarah is desperate. She wants to be in love so badly, you know, with her job and her traits and everything. She just, she's... She's desperate and willing to do anything. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna make an offering of $5,000. I want you guys to cross your fingers, cross your toes, cross your legs, cross your arms, cross your ass, that we get someone good. What are you doing? Stop talking to Ren. They've been chit chatting a lot lately. And uh, yeah, I do, I hear you about getting that mod where you can assign people as family to like prevent romance. I'm pretty sure I've had that in the past. I don't know why I took it out. I think my, my mods were just conflicting. So I need to put it back in though. All right. Dang it, it's dark outside. We're not gonna be able to see what, <laughs> see clearly what she gets, but you guys can still see. Okay, so this face means that the wishing well is really happy, okay? So that's the best time that you wanna make a wish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wish for romance and this is the only wish that sarah's gonna get in her life i always uh restrict it to one wish per sim so here we go wish for romance let's see what happens i'm so nervous it's it's so dark sorry i'm sorry okay we can kind of see all right come on do it seriously dolly are you for real that sounded like an overly ne a negative outcome wow as Sarah heard her coin splash deep within the depths of the well, two words pierced her mind, give up. Well then, no romance for Sarah for a while. Is that a joke? Hopeless in romance. As Sarah heard her coin splash, I'm so upset. I'm so upset right now. I feel for her so much. If anyone deserves love, it's her. It just looks like it's not in the cards. Man, I wish we had the new expansion pack already. So we can get our, our tarot cards read. I cannot wait for that freaking pack to come out. It's gonna be great. Wow, that's actually so sad. She gave a $5,000 donation and got a negative outcome. What are the chances? Anyway, we'll just leave her to cross stitch over here by the fire. It's pretty wholesome, to be honest. Edison Compost's long life is coming to an end. This would be a good time to get his affairs in order. Alrighty, well, his affairs are in order. I do want a picture with him and Sarah, so hopefully I'll be able to get that before he dies. I need to remember to do it as soon as the sun comes up. Look at what she's cross-stitching. How cute is that? So, the sad moodlet that she had is gone. I don't really know what it means by no romance for Sarah for a while, cause I'm pretty sure we could still do it, but yeah. I can't believe we, we wasted our one wish on that. You know, if we should drain the life force from anyone, it should be Jamie. Still would be kind of messed up though to leave Stacy to raise the kids all by herself. Maybe we should just do it anyways. I feel like Ren wouldn't give two shit. I don't know if we can drain someone's life force and then give it to Evangeline. 
I don't know if that would work, but we can try. I'm sorry, guys. I know that the wishing well was so anticlimactic. She is seriously so cute. She's just vibing hard. La 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 la. Oh, is your shift over? Why are you still chilling here? Rothea. There's a lot of Rothea's. As soon as Ren is done with this gemstone, we will go. Gosh darn it! None of them are- I don't understand. I don't understand why not, they're not worth the money that we need. Like, why? What am I doing wrong? <sighs> okay, let's uh, let's change our outfit and uh, head on over to Jamie's house and see what we can do. Ren's taking matters into her own hands. All right, hi. Wow, I can't believe the whole family's in the hall. Look at these kids. Oh, wow. Are they all identical? Holy crap. This is scary, I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> so they all have, let's see, these like bluish brown eyes, all of them. These two have brown hair. It looks like these two have uh, red hair. Their face, they look exactly the same. This is such a trip, I can't, I, I can't do it. Two of them have her hair color, two of them have his hair color. Oh my god. Wow, none of them got her red eyes. Okay, that's interesting. All right, um, so I'm about to scar all of you. So sorry, but something needs to be done. Oh man, I just had the most messed up thought. <laughs> To give him a flirty introduction. No, a romantic introduction, just like he did to her right now, right in front of her. And then take him somewhere, like out of the building, not in front of her, and then drain his life force. Like kind of like lure him away with Ren's like beautiful vampire energy, you know? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Screw it. Let's do it. It doesn't mean anything to Ren. She's playing him. She's toying with him to get him away from her. Let's see if he takes it. That would honestly be so insane. I got you. Okay. What is she? What is this? Claim to be a master vampire. Well, she technically is. Um, okay. Well, Stacy didn't give two craps that we did that which i find very interesting um but let's take him over here fly here as bat together no way she can take people with her i didn't even know that that's actually hilarious that she's claiming to be a master vampire right now wait where did he go oh did he just did, does he just evaporate there where is he why are you here go away this is supposed to be a private all right, she's like, all right, Jamie, come with me. We're gonna go somewhere more private. Okay, detect personality, drain life spirit. I'm only doing Jamie because I want Stacy to stay alive and raise her kids, okay? She may have to do it alone, but it is what it is. You, you need to get out of here. You're an elder, you probably have no idea what's going on, to be honest, but just go, okay? You, you don't want to see this. Beat it. Okay, here we go. This is so messed up. I'm not even going to lie. Actually kind of brilliant to use romance on him to make him come with her and then drain his life spirit so he forgets everything. And so she doesn't, he doesn't have to remember that they have romance. She's a guilty drinker, but it is what it is. She's feeling tense now, but yeah, the romantic relationship between Ren and Jamie is supposed to away. Yeah, that's fine. It was supposed to. She's feeling tense, guilty drinker. Yep. All right. What's done is done. No relationship at all with him. Wow. We even have to like reintroduce ourselves. Wow. Sanguinary satisfaction. Oh my god. All right, we're leaving him here. He probably won't even be able to find his way back home. Sheesh. Okay, let's head over to Evangeline's house now and see if we can give it to her. I don't even know if that's a thing, but oh my gosh, that means he's going to forget his relationship with Evangeline as well. Evangeline is still in denial. I don't really know why, but every time we try and talk to her about Jamie, she's just like, I don't know who you think you're talking to, but I love this man. Stop talking about him like that. 
kind of vibe. So I don't know if one day Jamie just doesn't remember her. She's probably going to realize that something happened. Something supernatural is up. Okay, let's see. Dang, I can't. I can't give it to her. We could pretend though. We could pretend. I think that would honestly be a really cool feature for vampires. But offer gratitude to Evangeline. Aw, look at her. She makes such a cute elder. But she needs to stay alive and raise her baby. Alright, here we go. We're giving Evangeline Jamie's life force. And uh, she will revert back to being an adult. What the? We can just pretend that was her putting the life force in her mouth. What is wrong with my game? I swear to God. Okay. Boom. There she is in a puff of smoke. She's back to being an adult. Wow. Well, that was crazy. That was, uh, that was absolutely wild. But our work here is done. You are now able to raise your child in peace. It looks like Samantha aged up into a toddler. Hello, small baby. Okay, let's go home. Our work here is done. I'm probably going to end up removing Jamie from his house because if he has no memories, he will, he wouldn't remember like where to go, like how to get back home. He's probably going to spend the rest of his days wandering the streets of San Myshuno in a, in a helpless daze. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, she's feeling very guilty about what she has just done, but you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? What is wrong with you now? Slip through my fingers from people, person, lifestyle. Sarah still feels bad when she loses one. Oh my god. She's upset because her and Jamie are no longer friends. Because we just wiped his memory. Girl, y'all were never friends to begin with. You lost a friend. Yeah, it was Jamie, but like, it's fine. See? first on the list. Anyway, you silly girl. It's okay. That's nothing to be sad about. Grab a serving. Grab a serving of what? I don't see any food anywhere. Oh, he's going to grab some cookies. Did Eloise make cookies in their house? Is that where? Yep. He's going to go have cookies with his grandma. Also, you guys said that we can get a, we can get an age down treat for your pets. And I would really like to do that for Dolly. I think the only vet that I have in my game is in Brindleton Bay. Yes, it is. Okay, let's see if we can get one. I wonder if it works on horses, though. It should. Purchase pet items. Okay, a treat that causes your cat or dog to age down. What about, what about a horse? I guess we could try it. <gasps> Definitely no promises, though, on that one, because it specifically says cats and dogs. <laughs> oh, hi, Crystal. How are you doing? You guys are not going to talk like that, are you? It's giving secret meeting. Uh-oh. Who is it? Mackenzie? I don't know who that is. Whoa. This girl is so pretty. Look at those eyes. Hello. Nice to meet you. Clumsy, loves the outdoors, and overachiever. Let's ask. We already shared all of our personal details. Let's ask her how she feels about us. Hello. How do you feel about us? I find you unattractive. Okay, perfect. I wasn't interested anyways. Oh my God, Brindleton Bay is so gorgeous right now. Are you kidding me? Holy crap. Ooh, a dig spot. Hello, don't mind if I do. It was nice meeting you. Bye. I'm on the hunt for love. Yes, I am. I'm hunting for love. Common upgrade parts boring Ooh, we got a limestone actually let's pop that open we are so close on the fossil collection fossilized plant imprint i don't know if we have that i don't know what this is i kind of want to go there though what is this place is it like a little mall or something wow this fountain is massive holy crap okay yeah i think it's like a little like thrift store slash mall situation i'm starting to get pop-ups for like family members that i have no idea who they are all right. Well, uh, I say we go to Tomarang. Let's try and get that last tassel while, while we are out and about. Oh no, not the thunderstorm. I hope she doesn't get struck by lightning. <gasps> oh, I was gonna say our dig spot, our normal dig spot's not here. All right, come on, girl. 
I know, I know, I'm sorry that it's raining, but it is what it is. Green tassel. That is not what I wanted. Whoa, check this out. Oh my God. Whoa, that's actually so sick. I paused it on just the right time. Oh my God. Wow. How cool is that? Purple tassel. Okay. This is gonna take a while. Magenta tassel. I'm gonna go check the night market just in case. I've only ever seen a pink tassel or a light green tassel there, but we could check. There might be a new marble too. Oh no. Rotheo. Rest in peace, Rotheo. Poor sweetie. Poor, poor sweetie. Okay, what the heck? Where is that? Where's the stall with the tassels? Is everything closed because it's raining? No way, really? Wow. What the? Where'd you find her? This is Natalie. She was our uh, our friend in high school, like one of our close friends. Like she was in our uh, our club and everything. I wonder how she feels about us. Look at how beautiful. We're sitting in the rain, just sitting in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm. You're all right, I guess. Okay, that's my cue. I'ma head out. <gasps> oh no! We never got the picture! Why in the hallway? Why in the most difficult spot? To freaking get... I don't care, I don't care, I don't care about these randos getting pregnant. Aww. He's like, I don't have my computer anymore? Alright. There's literally no reason for me to live. Not the finger! I have to put it out every time, I'm sorry. I just have to. Wow, it's so dramatic with a reshade. It really is. Don't- boy! No! Oh, jeez. Poor Edison. Poor, poor Edison. Grim, where are you going? You forgot to reap him. What's happening? Grim, you have unfinished business. I can't believe Edison's gonna be gone. Let me spend his reward points really quick. I'm just gonna use it on um, moodlet solvers. Oh, <sighs> jeez. Grim, it's honestly really sad that you're just leaving him there on the floor. Eloise doesn't even notice yet. She, d oh, okay. Whoa. Oh, Sarah witnessed the reaping. Where the heck is Ren at? Oh my God, she's at work on off hours. Sarah, why are you not more sad? Oh my god! She was like, oh, he's gone? Alright, I'm out. I have no reason to be here. <laughs> Edison felt that way about his computer. Eloise feels that way about Edison. How sad. Sell all the crops in her inventory again. She was such a nice sim to have around. I really enjoyed her. Air day was awful. You don't say. You don't say. <sighs> Well, rest in peace, Miss Ma'am. Oh, I forgot she was a spellcaster. She gets a spellcaster urn. I know, it is a nice lot, isn't it, Grim? Well, I'll miss you, Edison. I'll miss you so, so much. Let's get your urn in the graveyard while we watch the slideshow of Edison's life and accomplishments. I hope it's a good one.
All right, all right, all right. So Edison and Eloise are gone. It is Sarah, Ren, and the baby in the house. Okay, it's gonna be real quiet around here now, isn't it? I need to replace these loungers that were out here before. There we go, we'll go for, yeah, let's just get do some black ones. All right, how are your skills coming along? All right, we just need to work on thinking a bit and get that potty up to level three as well. I cannot wait for the addition of funerals. This is like, death is just gonna mean so much more than The Sims, you know? If you guys haven't watched my trailer reaction for the new expansion pack that's coming out, you should go watch it. There's gonna be funerals. You can work as a apprentice to the Grim Reaper. There's a bunch of new stuff coming with the new expansion and it looks so fun. I cannot wait. It's really going to change the game. Let's see who we got on Cupid's Corner today. Oh my God. Look at who's on here. Wow. Of course. Of course. All right. Who do we got on our saved? Anna, Kelly, Katie. Katie didn't like us. Kira, Millie. She's still an option. Sandra, Casey, Car, Amy. Oh. Amy is now an elder. Maybe we can hang out with Anna later. All right, well, why don't you take your mind off of everything and uncover some artifacts? Everyone is sad. I mean, it makes sense. So it looks like Evangeline is leader of the club now. So we got to take that from her at some point. Yeah, I just realized we never maxed charisma in the last one. So we still have more. That is so loud. We still have more PTO to take. So we're just gonna use it all up. Man, I think it's gonna go up really slow because she's sad. I heard you became friends with Jacqueline. She's pretty cool. Thanks, Riley. Yeah, she she is. Aw, the fire's going. How nice. I feel like Sarah would probably like watch some reality TV or something. She's so sad. It's raining outside. Let's just veg out and do nothing. Maybe have some cake. Ooh, Halloween's tomorrow. That means Eros' birthday is in three days. Hot dog. Oh, also, let's see if we can give the horse a treat. Can we? Sell horse. When I do hand feed, the uh, treat does not show. That sucks. We have ama amazing compatibility with Anna. Let's invite her over. I know that we're super sad, but let's see. Maybe a moodlet solver will help. All right, the moodlet solver helped. So uh, let's see. Who was it? What was her name again? Anna? Where you at, Anna? Right here. Invite to hang out. Ooh, Ren spies a rival politician speaking to lob lobbyists widely believed to be rather shady. Ren knows there's an opportunity to oust the politician, but perhaps there's more nuance than appears on the surface? Question lobbyist. Ren dials the lobbyist later in the day to inquire about the policies and plans. It turns out the politician is a major ally of Ren's policies and explains the rumors. A new partnership is born. Collected some donations for the cause. Nice. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, Anna. I invited her over. She should, oh, she's here already. Dang, that was fast. Oh, she's paranoid too. <gasps> Compliment. Okay, let's see. Let's have a look at you. Red hair, brown eyes. So pretty. Well, you guys know the drill. 
share everything about ourselves and then see how she likes it. I wonder if it's because we're a romance counselor that people just aren't into it. Wabarani Charib. I'd be into it. Uh -huh. Oh, yay! We max charisma by talking to her. A very good, very good. Anna is unemployed. She's adventurous. She likes cooking, fitness, and violin, and she dislikes video gaming. Oh! Okay, yeah. Go ahead, take a picture. I think this might be one of the girls that you guys made for Edison. Maybe? I don't know. All right, moment of truth. Ask for attraction levels. You're all right, I guess. Okay. Okay, well, that didn't really go as planned. No freaking way. Early midlife crisis. Life seems to be passing Sarah by these days. Oh my God. No, please. Maybe it's time for a change. Okay, how do I prevent a midlife crisis from happening? I'm so serious right now. I think maybe we should quit our job. Maybe we should do the same thing Edison did and just like spend her time in space. I don't know. Who's uh, over here? Riley and Brianna. Ooh, Ren got promoted to fundraising specialist. Good for you. Rooster chick is now a fully grown rooster. It'll crow in the morning, try to protect other chickens from foxes, and we'll try to breed with hens in the same coop to create hatchable eggs. Nice. Okay, and Avery, I'm pretty sure she's family. I think that's one of Bellamy's kids. So yeah, no, definitely not. Riley, I mean, yeah, we've already gone on a date with her. Ty, Madeline, proper and genius. Marielle, outgoing and neat? Okay, sure. Okay, we're taking Anna off the roster. All right, I asked her on a date. I just told her to come over here. Eris is sleeping, so it should be okay. Oh, hey, welcome back, Ren. How do they just spawn at our front door like that? Wait, that's not her. Who the heck is Clementine Mata? She's hot-headed. I'm sending her home. Where's our date, though? Hello? There she is. All right, Ren, why don't you harvest these crystals? God, thunderstorms are always so freaking loud. I think we might be able to change the weather up here. Clear skies. Please, Ren, take care of that. Okay, here she is. I hate that, like, when you are on a date, you already know them, so, like the observant trait doesn't really do anything you don't learn the traits right away all right let's see mm, she's really pretty neutral how do you know that already do you know her traits already oh neat and outgoing that's right oh you poor thing you poor poor thing all right we shared all of our uh info to her did you get shocked by lightning because you tried to change the weather is that what happened? Well, it seemed to work. All right, we are attracted to her. What about the other way? <gasps> I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. We finally found someone where the attractive feelings are mutual. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Are you dressed? Do you have outfits? It looks like you do. Could this potentially be one of your guys' sims? She has a child. Janelle Vickers. I don't know how old they are, but... Oh my god, I can't even believe it. I can't even believe it. We we finally did it. Oh, Mariel's enjoying the date. Would like to spend more time together. Yes, accept, accept. Are you single? Imagine she not be. Wow. Okay, she is. Thank god. This is so exciting, guys. Do we know her third trait yet? We don't. I need to know it. Vegetarian. Okay, so she is neat, vegetarian, and outgoing. Amazing compatibility, and they are both attracted to each other, and she's a stay-at-home mom. That's basically uh, what we are, too. Oh my gosh. Extend the date. Yes, yes, you already asked me that. <laughs> This is so exciting, you guys. I can't even believe this is happening. I knew. I knew that if I just kept going, if I kept grinding, we would eventually find someone. Oh, Ren, don't you come over here and ruin it. Go take a shower or something. What are you doing? Get out of here. I don't trust you, girl. I don't. Okay. 
Marielle Vickers. Let's see. No way. <laughs> I'm actually dying right now. Oh my god. Miss Aiden, you are on a roll. Believe it or not, both Stacy and Marielle were both made by Miss Aiden in the same household. Wow. What are the freaking chances? What are the chances? Totally digging me from exchanging numbers. Yes, who's calling? Chase passed away. Oh man. I think that was one of her friends in school. Oh, Eros is hungry. Okay, I got you, bud. Oh, Ren's got you. Cool. Yeah. Um, she likes spirited sims. Okay, yeah, sure, why not? What is happening over here? Dolly's always watching over us. Always watching. Oh no, not the woohoo proposition. Oh, you guys haven't even kissed yet. No, I can't. I'm sorry. I can't allow it. Dolly's just following them around everywhere. This horse is actually really sweet. She is so protective. You guys should at least kiss first. Dolly, please! She never wants me to see anything. They really get along too. It's sweet. She's like, you have no idea how long I have been waiting for a real connection with someone. <laughs> you want to extend the date again? This is the third time. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. I'm curious what her person, like what she's into. What are her turn ons and turn offs? Self employed sims, wealthy sims, arts and crafts sims, family motivated sims, turn offs, academic skills, ambitious sims. Turn ons, basic fashion, rocker fashion, blue clothes, green clothes, red clothes, turn offs, hot pink hair. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, okay, we are officially in a midlife crisis. She wants to join the business career? Are you for real right now? I hate this. I feel like she's so much younger than Edison was when he got his midlife crisis. But I don't know, they, they may have been the same age. Sarah is an adult. <gasps> Not the handcuffs. Oh lordy. Dolly's <laughs> looking away. <laughs> she's like, I'm here, but I'm not watching. Nope. No, oh, oh, still going, still going. Okay, okay. Just making sure you're good, mom. <laughs> All right, she wants to woohoo with Marielle and hold hands with her. Let's see her. Oh no, what's wrong with the baby? What's the matter? Ren, give him food. <laughs> She's just chit chatting with him? No, feed him, please. Ooh, it's Halloween. It's Halloween, Halloween, everybody. It's Halloween. Yeah, it's Halloween. Okay. Yes. Come over here. Actually, let me just drag it up to you since you're starving. There you go. Wow, he grabbed it. All right. And Ren, if you could give him a bath, please, that would be amazing. Sarah's on cloud nine right now. Good for you, girl. Good for you. Try for baby. No. Oh my God, y'all. Good grief. They're about to try for baby in the freaking shed. Let me uh, take care of my animals here. I'm also gonna hop into cast with her. Give her, like CC her up, give her a skin detail, all that good stuff. You guys have no idea how happy I am. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I am so stoked. Okay, so her baby is, okay, she has a daughter and it looks like her daughter is an, an infant. Oh my gosh, I wonder who the who the father is. Okay, oh my gosh, she has pink eyes too. Oh wow, how pretty. Wow, there's so many Sims with pink eyes. I don't know if that was like, if my eyes are, like my CC eyes are changing, they're, no, they're natural eyes, but either way, I love it. She's got beautiful curly hair. Let me see what CC curly hairs I have. Sorry if you guys can hear my washer. It's being really, really noisy. Wow, she's so pretty. Like shockingly pretty. Shockingly pretty. Why did I say that like Michaela? It's 
give her some different wing liner. Ooh, oh my God, she's gorgeous. Skin detail. Well, I hope that her and Stacy aren't anything alike. I actually really like Cicada on her. That's gorgeous. Let's give her, ooh, those brows are nice. And I did remember to put my <laughs> lashes back in. Let's see. Wow, look at this girl. She's beautiful. Oh man, she really rocks the short hair too. We give her an updo. Oh wow. Oh wow, so pretty. Wow, I actually have a lot of curly hair to choose from. Oh my gosh, look at this updo. Ugh. Oh. So, so beautiful. Holy crap. I don't know how many times I'm going to say it. Probably a lot. Look at this hair. I just downloaded it. It's by Leia Lilith. But she looks freaking dope with this hair. <laughs> oh my goodness. Leia Lilith has some of the most unique hairstyles I've ever seen in this game. Yeah, like look at this one. It's so detailed. Okay, I think we should give her the first hair that I chose. This clumsy alien one. It's so nice. I'm giving her a new outfit, similar to the one that she had before, just uh, with some CC in the mix. That's really cute with the shorts. Maybe with this outfit, I'll give her the updo. This one, oh my God, so beautiful. Should we do the ponytail? No, I like the bun. I can't get over how pretty she is. All right. Looking good, Marielle. Dang, look at this party wear. <laughs> this is dope. Here's her cold weather outfit. Hot weather, swim, party, sleep, athletic, normal, and everyday. Okay. Miss Aiden, I hope that you approve. Aw, look at him. He's trying to potty all by himself. He's feeling really sad from um, Edison's death. Poor baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I think I'm going to end this episode right here. In the next one, we'll be able to celebrate Halloween and not have to rush through it. But Sarah is feeling real good. She's happy. Yeah, she finally met someone that she's compatible with. And uh, yeah, they're compatible with her too. Freaking finally. Where'd she go? She's over here. Are you helping the gardener? Oh, that's really nice of you. So yeah, tell me what you guys think. Doji, yeah, we can do that. Tell me what you guys think of her. Um, oh, she's already I was thinking about Sarah already. They're gonna chat again. Oh man, but yeah, leave me comments. Let me know what you think about her. And Miss Aiden, big shout out to you. You definitely uh, know how to make Sims. <laughs> At least Sims that this family likes. So yeah, in the next one, we'll celebrate Halloween and we will age up arrows. That is very exciting. I think. Oh, are you? Oh my god. They're gonna go with all they really want a woohoo, but I want it to be special So just like hold off y'all hold off right Eros's skills They are coming along very nicely. I at least want to get them all to we can probably get them all to level four To be honest if not max a few of them I don't know if I should focus on maxing some or just like getting them like well-rounded to level four but Yeah, as always you guys leave me comments. Let me know what you think about everything Thank you for watching this video. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.